And with that, welcome to Spanky and Machel's Day Off. We are back at a hack from our beloved ass Cucumber for this hack jam that we're going to get right into. But it's not only ass Cucumber. We have ass Cucumber, 28s, and Yakomon. Bet you weren't expecting that. The year is 20xx, Yakomon, originally one of the high members of the Sky Temple High Council, has, defeated, has defected to the dark side of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Nintendo's team of highly trained assassins is currently seeking the locations of Ask Cucumber and his newly acquired partner. But try as they will, Ask Cucumber is always one step ahead. However, there may still be a way for them to disrupt the 20xx influence from the inside. For there exists a delinquent duo no one would ever anticipate. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gather we're gathering here today to witness the matrimony of two unbreakable soulmates. Do you, Chatot, take Guildmaster Wigglytuff to be your lawfully wedded husband? <laughs> I uh, I do. Do you, get Master Bugglytuff, check Turtle to be your- I do! Oh, alright then. By the power vested in me by the Holy One Archaeos, I now pronounce you- Wait, aren't you both men? I think I'll have to <laughs> call my lawyer for this one. So, tell me again, why weren't you inv uh, invited to pair up with the rapper's wedding? Well, after Chimesha wouldn't let you take a team of five into a dungeon, you got angry and said, I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And then you paralyzed her. <laughs> I wouldn't say I paralyzed her. It was more like helping her realize that her rules made no sense. Either way, the guild is closed and we're not allowed to attend the wedding. Which means, we have the whole day to ourselves. What are we going to do? Sneak into the wedding anyways. I'm going in. What? But what if you get caught? What's the worst that could happen? Chattel takes away our dinner? Come on, it's not like we still live at the guild. Okay, but if anything happens, you're taking one for the team. Sure, whatever. I should have said your mom. Damn. Oh, if it isn't Spanky and Machel. Listen, I've got a problem. My brother, he is not himself. Magnezone shut down all the shops for the day due to the wedding. I don't think my brother took the news very well. He's been going insane ever since. Apparently right now he thinks he's some kind of sports vendor or something. What the hell even is a hot dog? Hmm. I wonder if they know where I can find a good Lapras burger. So, you're interested in some Pokemon trading cards? Trust me, they're real legit. Eh, no thanks. I see. May you only pick up revisor seats for the rest of your lives. Ah. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's Team Electroflare. <laughs> you guys missed it. After resolving some legal technicalities, the Guildmaster went in for a kiss. And then Shadow went Eek! And the Guildmaster went Yomta. And then they kissed. Oh my gosh, my heart is melting from the excitement. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs here. He doesn't seem to be much for conversation. It's probably best to leave him to his ramblings. Alright, I saw Finnegan spinning. Sir, please get out of the water. It's not real, you're floating above it. Whee! Season desist or I will use lethal force. <laughs> Gorgonzola. I watched the wedding earlier. I guess you could say it was... Great. Jeez. Hey, you two. Oh, hi, Electrovire. Say, did you notice anything unusual about the bridge over here? Looks the same to me. What's wrong? I'm not sure. When I stepped on the bridge, it I just continued walking. And then, before I knew it, I was on the other side. Isn't that how bridges are supposed to work? 
Mm, I found it too. I'm not sure how to explain it. Well, alrighty then. Nice talking to you. Right! It's one map. <laughs> he did it. Our childhood dreams. He did it. <laughs> Yo, Spanky and Nutshell. If only there were shorter... What? If only there were a shorter, catchier way to say your names. You mean Team Electro Flare? Actually, I was thinking of something even shorter, like your initials. Actually, never mind. Wait. I don't know. I don't get the joke. I'm too dumb. Hi, Bidoof. <laughs> well, howdy, Team Electro Flare. It's been a while, hasn't it? We heard you almost got caught. Please stop. Why? What's the matter? Didn't you meet the legendary J I'm gonna have to stop you there. I'm not allowed to talk about that for legal reasons. Wait, what? Oh, I see what's ref what is referencing. All right. I only say, um, no, nah, nah, I don't say anything about that. <laughs> oh, hello. Please pay no attention to the frozen water. Everything is normal. Please carry on with your day. Damn, no enter. Hey, did you guys know? Sometimes Pokemon will say different things if you talk to them more than once. Like this Glacian over here. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so that's the spirit. You're getting pretty good at this, you know. Ah, oh, I already talked to Bidoof two times. Well, now I'm curious. Ah, it's probably just... These two. <laughs> I think. Click. 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 Oops, I mean, like... <laughs> nice. Uh, leaving Crediton will progress the story. You work, uh, we worked really hard on this custom overworld, so please don't leave until you expl explore everything. I think I've seen everything. It was a very nice overworld. Good job. Hey, are you re Revolver or what? What are you doing here? Good question. I was sent here by the CIA for an undercover operation. And you're certainly doing a good job at staying undercover. Wait, you're with the CIA now? I thought you worked for Thievelhound. Yes, but I changed my mind. Anyway, I can see that you two are highly skilled assassins. Your performance in the Kecklein operation was remarkable. Actually, that one was an accident. <laughs> Will you shut up? Anyway, I have a favor to ask of you. Our organization has had our sights set on a certain high-profile target for some time now. This individual is under investigation for 47 counts of illegal weapons trafficking, 62 counts of armed robbery and 16 counts of vehicular homicide. <laughs> and no matter what he we do, he continues to elude every single capture attempt. I am of course referring to Krogan from the guild. Makes sense. We want you to take him out. Seriously? The one time we get a day off and we're doing a hit? Yeah, don't expect us to bend over backwards for you unless we're talking serious chroma. I picked up Splatoon on the way here. You can have it if you want. Cool, the new one? No, the first one. Oh, give me... <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I love Splatoon. Are, are you really going to... Ah, you know what? Never mind. So where can we find Krogan? Yeah, we didn't see him at the festivities. He's most likely grabbing some burgers in the froggy forest. Um, I'd start looking there. Froggy forest, that sounds made up. You won't see it on the map. It's a small forest hidden under the A in grass continent. Are you sure? <laughs> Does this look unsure to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, we better get going. Well, here we are. This is the road that takes us to the swamp. Revolver Oshawott said this place is full of traps. We should be careful. Are you sure about all this? It looks almost like... exactly like the Ranch Bluff. <laughs> Does this look unsure to you? No. Besides, who's the navigator here? You are. And who makes sure we never get lost? I do. Exactly. Wait, no! <laughs> Will you quit being a smartass so we can go into the dungeon? Just stay behind me. 
As if you ever let me lead anyway. What did you just say? Peanut Valley. You can advise your regular attack can be used to check for traps. Trust me, you'll need it. Cucumber advice. Yummy cucumber. Oh no, not this shit again. Did you miss me? This delicious vegetable will uh, fill you right up. Thanks for clarifying. Orange juice. Orange juice is a drink. A drink. A refreshing beverage that raises your PP. Just be careful not to... I get the reference and I don't think I like it that I get the reference. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. <clears throat> Lookalike items are far more convincing in Cucumber's Dungeons than in, in base game. Lookalike look -like items have the same name as their real counterparts, but there will be always a smaller, uh, small error in the item's description. Be sure to read the item description very carefully before using the item. <sighs> are you fucking serious? <laughs> the fitness ground pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly but gets faster each minute after you hear the signal. <laughs> Alright! Um, options, uh, team stats, and mission objective. Search for Krogronk and take him out. How does it look with the moves? Fury swipes. Wait, so I also get a uh, notice thing when I step on the one more time? I think I should. Can, can I pull it? I swear to God, what? Fuck it. I'm not going to die here. Not that easily. Can I please stop being confused? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, now I'm not going to step on them, but it also did not trigger a message. Alright, you give advice. Petting Leafian does not count as touching grass. Fuck you. <laughs> I bet you fell into one of those reverse pitfalls. <laughs> Lemo, get wrecked. I wanted the VIP juice, man. But I see how the dungeon... Okay, so we have two orange berries now. I don't even know. We have three orange berries now. Uh, it's probably some dot or something missing. Oh my god, ich... <laughs> There's a road outside my house called Atlanta Highway. It's not a highway and it's not in Atlanta, but can someone explain that to me? No. <sighs> can you, like, stop using mud sport? fuck's sake. Thank you. Alright. Good. Two more cucumbers. Three cucumbers. There's the fourth cucumber. <laughs>
The missile knows where it is at all times, it knows this because it knows where it isn't. By subtracting where it is from where it isn't, or where it isn't from where it is, whichever is greater, it obtains a difference or a deviation. The guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands, to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where it isn't, and arriving at a position where it wasn't, it now is. Consequently, the position where it is is now the position that it wasn't, and it follows that to the position that it was is now the position that it isn't. Damn, I made it to floor 3. Wear pink and white knee socks to increase your programming ability. <laughs> Yeet scarf. Hey, warp. Field. Wait, wait, does it... Alright, uh, these socks don't actually do anything, I, I just enjoy wearing them. I guess. Alright, Yeet Scarf is actually useful. What? Why are my socks wet? How should I know that? Delicious Kruma. A troll orb. Use this orb, please. You know what? I'm going to use the orb. Oh, fuck. Give me stairs, please. Fuck. I will not use the orb. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe I will. Once I maybe find stairs. Okay, remove the yeet scarf. Leah <laughs> all around. So there are no traps. Wait, wait, wait. I want the fantastic seed. Uh I want it. <laughs> Warum hab ich's weg? Ah. I'm so stressed. Um, it was neither a murder suspect nor a target for an international spy organization. I was neither a murder suspect nor a target for an international spy organization. But I drove a car down the Jersey Turnpike at 80 miles per hour. A police officer pulled me over and asked for my driver's license. He said I was going 20 miles over the speed limit. I instantly pointed to my wife and said, I'm in a hurry, my wife is in labor. Fortunately, my wife actually had a big stomach. I hoped he let me go with this excuse. Oh, since it's an emergency, I'll lead you to the hospital with my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not? asked the officer. Uh, well, let's get going, said the officer. No, no, the, we can't. This baby is a demon child. What? Another Kecklian store. Alright. The link box. Does it actually just... It actually just links move. Okay, and I will try the fantastic seed. The seed is fantastic. Gotta try it, man. I will. 
Damn, nothing happened. <laughs> Yo! Give him your fantastic seat. Success. What? I am not in a good position. Um, <laughs> on that wave, I guess. No, please don't kill me. A quiet crew. Why is there so much money? I mean, I'm fine with it. What? I didn't even know that is a thing. But alright, um, Yeet Scarf. And I will also give much a Yeet Scarf because I can. Uh, take. Please don't murder me. Thank you. Okay, apparently the Yeet Scarf does only work on the... Okay, I'm gonna try Norm Mary. It was real. Now, we have the VIP just Cactus bad drink. This drink is no. <laughs> I mean, I'd say it looks like the um, trap-heavy things were just the first, like, few um, floors. I see more VIP juice. I am very scared. But I will also try out the VIP juice. And you may wonder why I'm safe staving. That is because... I think it could probably actually kill me. Oh, but it just paralyzes, alright. And we are through. Finally, the end of the dungeon. Not a moment too soon. Huh? What is this? A door? Why do I get the feeling we're about to walk into one of those timeshare scam seminars? Get out of the 1990s, will you? It's all about cryptocurrency now. Looks like there's no one here. I told you we're going to the wrong dungeon. Shut up, will you? Krogong's a wanted criminal. It's not like he's going to just appear in front of us. <laughs> Maybe he will. It's Gorgonzola. Wait, you're not Krogang. I'm sorry, but our Krogang is in another castle. <laughs> but did you like my impression? I'm working on getting a lead part in the PMD movie. I've been waiting 13 years for the casting agents to call me back. They kept telling me they're not making one. But I think they're lying. I know they're lying. Enough stalling, where's Krogang? I want to get this over with so I can splat some inklings. Spill the beans, or you'll learn a new meaning to the word paralyzed. You shall not get such information. If you want to find Krogan, you'll have to battle me for it. I can go behind that idea. No, not you. What do you mean, not you? Monkey. <laughs> Behold the power of aura. Alright. The aura is with me. Get up, Machu. God damn it, you are so useless. It is over. Honor has been restored to my family. Long ago, a Chincha walked into this castle and challenged my father to a game of Splatoon 2. The defeat was so humiliating that he left this castle. It was the last time I ever saw him. Yeah, yeah, great sub story. Now it's my turn to fight you. 
Now that I've got my revenge, I have no business fighting you. Krogan can be found up ahead, on the other side of Froggy Forest. Follow me! This is why I never let you take the lead. Learn some defensive moves. But he's just Lu but he just Lucario all over me and yelled it's Lucario time. <sighs> Man. <laughs> and this is it. This is what? If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Still trying to pursue that acting career, huh? It's not a career, it's a lifestyle. You wouldn't get it. Anyway, Muchel and I... I skipped it. We'll go in together when we're finished. Go in like the, uh, like the US Marshals and his three daughters. We lose the Vex... Well, now that's an obscure reference, if I've ever heard one. Is that even a sen was that even a sentence? Oh, I actually lost my items due to that. Alright. Hmm. Well, I really enjoy standing here in the middle of the forest. I like to imagine that maybe I could become a tree someday. Alright. <laughs> what? The gap seat takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate Krogan. I guess. What the fuck are you asking me? I'm the leader. I should be asking if you're ready. Have you two considered couples therapy? Shut it, you. Why are you taking along with us anyway? I walked a lonely road, and it was the only road. I don't sing. I can't fucking sing. Uh, it was <laughs> but then you two came in my life, and now I never want to be alone again. First chance we get, we're ditching him. Agreed. Damn, he's actually fast. If you yeet a yeet seed, you'll be yeeted to a random yeet on the same yeet. If you yeet it, if you yeet it a yeet yeet yeet. Yeet. Well, let's try the yeet seed. And find stairs. Alright. But I guess I can use them. Um... Nah! All my yeet scarves are gone. <laughs> Man. A mom bed. A bed. Be like mom. Uh, high physical strength allows him to strangle a demon in each arm while doing some killers. Dual wielding super shotguns. Dude relies on heavy firepower as opposed to raw physical strength. I guess. Ah, it tells me just. Again, that lookalike items are very, very much the same here than usual. Uh, like the usual items, uh, yep. A trip trap. Yeah. Please tell me this is not a floor full of trip traps. It is. I mean, at least no trip traps and not like pitfall traps. But they're still hella annoying. 
All right. Good, I have run around you on that. Great. Uh, nothing in here, I'm not going to, not even going to go in. <laughs> Too many traps. Upstairs. Alright. And we have here a gap seat. Mm-hmm. Mm, still does nothing. Bravery is not a function of firepower. What? For silent takedowns. When due process fails us, we really do live in a world of terror. Some guy, probably. I have a feeling that this is a seat to one-hit enemies. Good, what do we have here? A lemon. <laughs> Please be when life gives you lemons. Lemon. Just a normal lemon. I became petrified. Oh no. Okay, it does not soft lock, but it takes a hell of a lot of time. What the fuck? I actually thought it <laughs> would have maybe soft locked there. I do wonder though if the amount of money here is intentional. Because usually it looks like that when a floor has an invalid spawn on the list for items. But it could also actually just... Okay, I'm pretty sure it's... Well... Intentional. Simply because of these traps. Alright. Yeah. Alright, floor eight. Let's see what this beautiful floor has in case of traps for us. Gorgon's Ula can do this alone. I don't care. Although it looks... Ah, uh, no, he does have quick attack. <laughs> All right. 
right, I can live, maybe. Please don't kill me. Good. Okay, I should probably actually give an orange juice to Gorgonzola. And he still uses Bone Rush. Uh -huh. Great, great, yes, it has no effect. Stop using it. Like 1.4k. Okay. You should stop doing that. <laughs> that nine that could have probably won it me easily with a fire move. Floor 10 of foggy, uh, Froggy Forest. And I'm out of attacking moves, uh, so I guess orange juice for me. I see a lemon. Lemon. <laughs> I can probably frog lemon on a boss. If there is one in here. Because I think they act like stun seeds. No. Take the lemon. How can you miss detect? How is that even possible? Okay, bye. I do want to know what these GP seeds actually do. So I will wait here one moment. And throw one. Oh, it's just a blast seed. Alright. Whoa, feels good, all right. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> You're dead.
I mean, at least there is Gorgonzola inside there. Just gonna speed that up, and Gorgonzola is dead. And we died at floor 13. <sighs> you two are so careless. This dungeon is easy as hell. What? Well, it's not our fault you took half ribs and money when you dunked on Mitchell. Maybe you should try getting a job. <sighs> I can't believe this guy. Let's go, Mitchell. Let's go. Back at floor... No, we are not back at floor 13 and we are at floor 14 because I lost my fucking mind at floor 13. You will maybe seen something about this floor, but anyways, we're through. Just took me like 30 minutes. Man, I'm so hungry right now. I could really go for a Big Mac. Or maybe a quarter pounder. Aha, there you are. Time to face a leaf dose of electricity. Nah, not yet. I gotta get my gamer fuel first. Although McDonald's doesn't sell Mountain Dew, does it? Guess I'll get Taco Bell instead. <laughs> Later. Did you consider asking nicely? After <laughs> Halt, don't take another step. Yeah, your reign of terror ends here. It's us? So, Krogang hired imposters to smear our names, did he? That's some low act. Oh, that's rich. Ah, we have the actual Mitchell and Sparky. Krogang informed us of your little trade. We're here to serve a cease and desist notice on you. This is unauthorized parody. Uh, this unauthorized parody of Team Firespark ends now. Whoa, it's Mr. Rito. <laughs> yeah, we re we really worked hard to get where we are. We're not going to let you taint our image. We are family friend we are a family friendly brand. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. Are you working for the Nintendo Ninjas? So that's why Revolver Osha what one is, uh, wanted us to take Krogang out. He threatens the entire cucumberverse. We can't let him win. Agreed. I don't believe this, you're not us. Was that a Persona 4 reference? Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, where the hell are you going? We need you to carry us. Yeah, and if you think about it, it's not really a Persona 4 reference at all. I mean, it's not like the Persona 4 boss battle theme is going to start playing. What? <laughs> I wish it didn't come to this. But they left us no choice. Time to show you how we deal with disputes in Australia. Oh man. I have a bad feeling. I will definitely boost some quick attack. The B stone, alright. Gonna get rid of one of all low? Nah, 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 nah. Let's heal Muscle Full and attack. Nice. This. It's tougher than I thought. Sparky, where are, are our items? Don't you have a fully stocked treasure bag? Ah, <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, take a look inside. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, better took all of your items. Sold it to the Keklian for gas money. Oh well, suck shit. We... We've been double-crossed. So wait. Does that mean you guys aren't imitating us? Of course not. 
We don't even have the same names. I'm Spanky, this is Machel, together we are Team Electro Flare. We don't have these dumb scars, scarves either. I think they're cool. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Look, we can stand around all day and compare notes. But that just means Krogan gets away. You two go on ahead. We're not much use with old items. Thanks, we'll make sure Krogan faces justice. So, we agree this hack is non-canon to retold? Agreed. <laughs> they ditched me. Now I'm sad. It's okay. I don't think they were right for you anyway. Can I be your friend, Mr. Retold? Well, alright. I admit Lucario isn't one of my favorite Pokemon, but you're cool. One might say even are groovy. I think everyone gets this bit now. <laughs> yeah, yes, I would like to save the game. I swear to god, if I get one more of these dungeons, I'm gonna punch my monitor. Wait, why are we in a cave now? Does it matter? When you're such pendentic sometimes. Yeah, you're so pendentic. You know, I could let you bicker all day, but then I'll never be able to kill you. Good. I'm overdue to give someone some electric shock therapy anyways. Well, relax, chill. You know they can call Burger King in Australia? And what they call Burger King in Australia? They don't call it Burger King? No, man, they had a queen in Australia. They wouldn't know what the fuck a king is. So what do they call it? They call it Hungry Jacks. That's a stupid name. Hungry Jacks. Then what do they call McDonald's? Well, McDonald's is still McDonald's, but they call it Meccas. <laughs> Lol. What do they call KFC? I don't know, didn't go into the... into one. I... I... I don't know, I'm stupid, I'm, I'm confused. Nice. Fury stripes are actually mm, quite strong. Uh, it's over, Krogan. Yeah, it's time to answer for your crimes. <laughs> are you really going to believe those lies? What are you talking about? After years of swapping items in my swap cauldron, I've uncovered many different kinds of artifacts. Most of them have little value to me, but occasionally I discover secrets that were never meant to be found by anyone. Hillary Clinton's deleted emails. The missing Epstein jail camera footage, various Nintendo data leaks, you name it. It's no surprise to me that the government wants me dead. What about the illegal weapons, murders and robberies? A cover-up story created by the CIA, probably so they could get you to do the dirty work for them. What? Don't you get it? You're government pets, nothing more. It doesn't matter what you say, we still have a mission to complete. And I've already scheduled a Splatoon session with the boys. Splatoon? Is that what this is about? What if I told you that, in my secret stash, I own a limited edition Nintendo Switch with Splatoon 3 on it? But if you kill me, you'll never find it. Don't listen to him, Spanky. He might be lying. I'll tell you where it is. All you have to do is let me go. Hmm, decisions, decisions. You've gotta be joking. This is an important decision, perhaps even a meaningful decision. <laughs> you didn't think we'd forget to include the theme of the hack jam in some way, did you? If you bring Krogan to justice, you will receive Splatoon 1 from Revolver Oshawott. If you spare Krogan, you will obtain Splatoon 3 from his hideout. I'm going to save state. And I'm going to, first off, kill Krogan. We've come this far, after doing everything in our power to track him down, it doesn't make sense to... Uh, let him go. And besides, maybe this that secret copy of Splatoon 3 will turn up eventually. I've made my decision. The mission is more important than some dumb video game. <laughs> For a second I thought you were actually going to listen to him. Anyway, I'm glad we're in agreement. Let's end this here and now. Krogunk, your time is up. Wait, you're not really going to...
We did it. So, he was one of those conspiracy theorists, huh? I don't know, I've never really looked into that kind of thing. I would have never thought they were capable of so much harm to society. But... I guess some conspiracies have a way of coming true. Hey Spanky, what's up? This old assassination thing, I'm not sure if I'm up to it. It gets easier the more you do it. Maybe, but I think I'd rather do something else. Seriously? You actually thinking about quitting? What are you going to do? Well, I want to see new places, meet new people, have lots of adventures. But we have lots of adventures. Yeah, but everything, but everywhere we go, you always end up bullying me. Is that really how you feel? Really, I was just trying to make you stronger. But maybe I shouldn't have been so hard on you. I'm sorry for everything. Everything. That is all I ever wanted to hear. I forgive you, Spanky. Let's go home. Want to play Splatoon in my place before you go? I've never played it before, but it sounds like fun. Don't worry, I'll teach you. Come on, let's get out of here before we all watch what finds us. Sounds good to me. Alright, but before we go into credit, before we're going to go to the end, we're going to see what Sparkrow does. You know, he's right. Why should we do the CIA's job for him? What's in it for us? If it's we ju if we just tell Revolver Oshawa that Krogan got away, he will become way richer than we would have been in the first place. I've made my decision. Krogan, tell us where your treasure is and we'll let you go. What? You've made the right decision. Follow me. How are you wounds? Can you walk? I'll be fine. Just give me a minute. Here, I help. I don't believe this. Well, here we are. Gee, it's kinda dark. You bring in a light? Nope. Well, maybe a Chimcha will lend us his, if we persuade him. Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, much, lend me your ass. <laughs> I'm going to use your butt as a torch so we can see. There we go. It's not much, but it's better than feeling our way in the dark. My game room is over here. The switch is already plugged in, so all you have to do is turn it on. <laughs> awesome! There's even a mini fridge with Chinese food in it. Can you please put me down? <laughs> Okay, okay, calm down, Mr. Grumpy Pants. What's gotten into you? I don't like this. Something doesn't feel quite right. Like, it's too good to be true. How can you say that when our reward is right in front of us? Come on, let's hurry and turn it on already. <laughs> cool. Huh. I guess you were right. Sorry, I doubted you. Do you have a second controller? Sure, it's right here. Hey, Grogon, you want in on this? No, thanks, I have some. Things I need to take care of. I'll be right back. Well, if you say so... Come on, Macho, step up your game. I'm trying. I'm telling you, you just have to... <laughs> uh, what is this? I've never seen a screen that looks like this before. Have you? No, I haven't. Maybe we should turn it off and on again. It uh won't turn off. What? You're probably just doing it wrong. Here, let me show you. Oh no. You're in a you're in possession of a pirated copy of Splatoon 3. Piracy is a serious crime. Both of you are coming with me. I knew this was a bad idea. What is the charge? Enjoying a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Ah yes, I see you know your judo well. Get your hands off my Pikachu. Gentlemen, this is a democracy manifest. Did I have any idea what the fuck happened? No, but... Credits.
All right. It looks like there is nothing more coming. So yeah, with that, we have reached the end of Spanky and Marshall's Day Off. A definitely very interesting hack and very infuriating at times. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. And until the next time, I wish you a great day, night, evening, whatever ends. Bye.